It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. Yep, Charlemagne the guy. Andrew Schultz. We are the brilliant idiots back for another motherfucking week. Um, we don't have no pre rolls or nothing, right? All right, let's get to it. Um, Schultz, what did you see this week that you thought was positively brilliant? What did you see that made you say, what a fucking idiot? I don't know if I could say it was brilliant, but um, Biden at the debate, okay? I think that the whole like right-wing smear on Biden, which is like he can't put a sentence together. I know I've said these things. I think you've said these things. We've mm -hmm. all been concerned. Can this guy get a sentence out? He's had so many like gaffes or whatever the fuck he calls it, right? I think what that did is it backfired on Republicans because our expectation was so low for what he was going to be able to do at the debate. Mm -hmm. And then he came out and he like bumbled his words a few times. But like, for the most part, he looked very presidential. Eh. I'm not going to lie, bro. Eh. You say no compared to what you thought it was going to be? Compared to the competition, he looked presidential. <laughs> yeah, but we never expected presidential from, from Trump. Yo, and, and real talk, I think the opposite of Trump. I was thinking Trump was going to go there and it was just going to be a roast. I thought he was going to be running the dozens on him just every few seconds. It making wasn't? fun of. Son, he had one joke the whole time. You're not smart, which is the dumbest joke. But see, Trump's demeanor is funny. He, no, no, it's funny to laugh at, yeah, but he yeah. didn't give you any bars. Like He didn't give you any shit that you're going to say and repeat. Lion Ted. He didn't even say Sleepy Joe or whatever nah, he, his name yeah, is. He let, he let Crooked Hillary fly one time. But it was old. It's like you're doing old material. You're going to go see Chris Rock and he's going to go tell you about Hillary's got to be the first one on her knees. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. When I saw it, I watched the debate. The debate gave me everything I knew I was going to get in that versus battle. Like Joe gave me, ex he gave me peak Joe. <laughs> White people don't have versus, we have debates. Deba <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Joe gave me peak Joe mm -hmm. and Trump gave me peak Trump. Like that's why I'm shocked. I have to say, what a fucking idiot to all of the people out there who still get shocked by Donald Trump. I'll like, be honest, I was shocked. Why? I was shocked. I was shocked at, about his strategy. It was Trump. Yeah, but like, I thought Trump would try to win over the middle, right? I thought he would try to win over the undecided. Like, there's really? so many. I really thought that he would go for the middle, go for the undecided, right? And. So when they ask him to condemn white supremacy, and I understand there are people listening or watching this right now that are like right wing. They're like, well, he technically did say sure right afterwards, or he said um, whatever the fuck it was. Uh, Stand back. Or whatever. Stand like, by. Yeah, exactly. Or he, he's, <laughs> he's like, yo, real talk. That was, yo. bro, it was, it was sad, but it was funny. Yo, it was funny. Because, like, you can't act like that's condemning. Because if your girlfriend was going to fight another girl, you'd be like, yo, yo, stand back. Just, <laughs> right? <laughs> that's not condemning your girl. No, 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 no. You know somebody about to shoot your homeboy. Yeah, yo, 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 stand, stand back. back. Stand, stand back. by just in case he deserves to get shot. All right. <laughs> so, I don't know what he did yet. Yeah, but stand, but stand by. Back. If he says one more thing. Yeah, stand, stand back, but stand by. I'm going to talk to him, all right? But stand by. He might need to get shot. I don't know yet. But just stand back for a second. So when you come out, right, and the people say, in the past, he's condemned white supremacy. Like, why does he have to do it again? It's like, because you have to do it every time you're asked. Every time you're asked what your tax plan is, you don't go, I've told you it before. You answer every question that you're asked at the debate. Do what? you? Son. <laughs> I'm going to be honest Son? with you. Do you? Do you what? At, you know, as a human being, at a certain point, I'm not answering the same shit over and over. Charlamagne to God. Every white rapper that comes on Breakfast Club, you say, what have you done for Black Lives Matter? It, 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 what it's sarcasm. Yeah. I, as Trump yeah. said, in regards to shooting bleach in your arms, it's sarcasm. Bullshit. It's sarcasm. You ran Post Malone out of the rap community, bro. Post Malone out there tattooing his forehead, wearing ripped jeans. He's like, I'm, I'm a rock star I'm now. I'm a rock star now. You don't want nothing to do with black people. Do I got to pay a tax every time, every month. Listen, I um, no, I'm really shocked. I was really shocked, and everybody was like mm. surprised that a white supremacist didn't condemn white supremacy. I know you've been saying it for a minute. I think there's a lot of people like me, right, that are completely in the middle and not inspired by either candidate and waiting for some inspiration, mm -hmm. right? And it's not to say that I haven't heard him say foul shit in the past, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's not to say that Joe Biden hasn't done foul shit in the past, mm -hmm. right? So, but when you're, when it's, it's like you're faced with it so blatantly, right? When he, when the question is just like, do you condemn white supremacy? 
even if you don't, you lie. Yeah, like, I, if you, you're I, a politician, you, you you're gonna lie about everything else. You might as well lie about that. I'm. This is just strictly brilliant idiot logic because I do believe Trump is a white supremacist, mm. right? But I can build a case that he's not, because if he was, right, there'd be better communication between him and the KKK and the Proud Boys and whoever, mm-hmm. and the communication would have already been. Look, you know, I gotta say a few things in public that I don't mean. Yep. But wink, wink. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he went. He, like he could be able to go in there. I condemn. White supremacists. I condemn yeah. the like, proud yo, boys. I condemn white supremacists and be like, yeah, just kidding, don't sign or something. Just kidding, you know what bro. I'm saying? Just a kidding. wink. You know what I mean? A, have a, a pee on his lapel. Something. You know what I mean? So yeah. it lets me know that there's not a lot of communication clearly between him and those factions. I don't think that Donald Trump is a white supremacist. I do think that he believes he needs white supremacists to win the election. I can see that. And Donald Trump is the type of guy that anybody who supports him, he has their back. It don't matter what you are. Anybody who supports him, he's got your back. And I believe that he had that way with everybody. But here's the thing. Me, as a guy who's in the middle, regardless if I prefer his geopolitical plan, I don't want wars. I don't want us fucking killing tens of thousands of brown people in Afghanistan, all these different places. Mm -hmm. I want to come out. Right. Middle East, I want to come out. Right. If I if I actually think that he's going to be better for the economy than a Biden administration, which I do like, I like I look at those two things. and I'm like, OK, that's probably better. The second you can't condemn white supremacy or any supremacy, just all supremacy. Second, you can't condemn it. I can't support you. Yeah, I, because, I cannot do it because I think when people think white supremacy, they're thinking, you know, just people that are against black people. But no, that's people that are against Jewish people that are people that are against you know, Asians, like any minorities in this country, women, white supremacists don't give a fuck about anything but mm-hmm. whiteness. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's just like he turns off a large faction of people. Like the ADL was asking last night, what did you what what, what do you mean yeah, yeah, by yeah. this? Why couldn't you con- Well, he said something this? more wild that I don't think a lot of people Which caught one? on. When they asked him about removing critical race theory from like uh, federal employment mm-hmm. agencies or whatever it is, like federal jobs. They used to have to do this thing where they have to like learn about critical race theory and just like learn about racism and how to talk to people, et cetera. And he removed it. And they're like, why'd you remove it? And he goes, uh, you know, there's a lot of messed up things in there that teach you to hate America. Hate America yeah. And then he goes this, he says this, he goes, and if you're of a, you know, a certain, if you're a certain group of people, um, it's like, you can't say anything, you know, it's really bad for you. It's like the reverse. So, I didn't catch that one. Yeah, so what he basically said is like, if you're white, you have no rights. It's almost like, like to be, okay, okay, gotcha, so, gotcha. it's almost like you're black now. We can't have that. You know what I'm saying? So, and nobody caught that. I'm watching this like, yo, what? Because every you got to rewind. People didn't catch the stand, um, the stand back, stand by oh, no, at I first. Got that shit. Oh, I me got too. That when shit. I heard it, I was like, whoa, I'm going to buy that goddamn judge tomorrow. <laughs> that motherfucking judge, you better get you a judge in the house. That goddamn five shot revolver that shoots them shotgun shells. That's a good house gun. All right, <laughs> house gun. You got that right. <laughs> We're going to pick up that baby tomorrow, <laughs> mm-hmm. all right? Um, I don't know. I can't put either one of them in the positively brilliant because I think it's sad that um, Joe Biden can't wash Donald Trump. But I don't think anybody can wash Donald Trump because I think debating Sorry. Donald Trump is like punching glue. Okay. Meaning that you'll punch the glue, but you still get sticky. It's this old saying where they like, yo, uh, you, 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 you get into a fight with a pig in the mud Dirty. You're gonna get dirty, but the uh, but the pig's gonna love it or some shit like that. And that's the truth to the matter. Donald Trump fucking gets you all out of character. Donald Trump did exactly to Joe Biden what I knew he was gonna do. Over talked him, cut him off, cracked jokes. The fact that yo, Joe Biden dropped the ball so many times on so many different things, right? This is interesting. I'll tell you what he dropped the ball on. He dropped the ball on um the tax thing. Number one. You ask Donald Trump about his taxes. Trump flips it on you and goes, well, yeah, I did pay millions of dollars in taxes, but, you know, I got a big tax refund because you. of your tax, your yeah. Obama's tax, uh, yeah. tax, uh, tax, uh, tax, what they call them shit? Loopholes. Loopholes. Tax yeah. loopholes. Because it was something like some stimulus relief check that sure. Obama gave certain businesses. Like, I sure. forgot the, the exact details. You can Google this shit, but it's just like, yo, how do you respond to that? Your administration... Created some tax codes <clears throat> that businessmen were able to take advantage of. Yeah. 
Biden had no comeback for that shit. Yeah. None. Yeah. He threw Bernie under the bus for no fucking reason. All of these progressives that are super far left that want that don't want to support you but will because they hate Trump that much, you don't have to beat up on them. You don't have to throw them under the bus. Like the little, that was old white male ego. I beat Bernie. I beat Bernie. And then Trump turns to him and goes, you just lost the left. You want to know the- You just lost the left. You, <laughs> <laughs> like, he, said you wanna, he, he knew it. He was like, you just lost the left. You want to know the, the whitest part of that debate? What? I'm way more suburban than you. Who said that? You didn't watch that part? No. <laughs> you, that Trump one. goes, you just lost the suburbs. And then Biden looks at him and goes, I'm way more suburban than you. I swear Yo, I didn't see you that You didn't part. see that? No. Son, I saw that. I was howling, bro. No. These two white dudes arguing who's more suburban? No, I missed that part. Oh, God. I totally missed that part. But no, I hear what you're saying. Like, what, what I was talking to Robbie, right? And uh, is a buddy of mine working on his project with me. And, and he said this. He goes, I think Trump's um, goal was not to appeal to the middle at all. It was his only base. To, it was appeal to his base. And then it was to remove the far left from Biden. Trump is trying to make Biden supporters stay home. But specifically those far left. Far ones. left, black yeah. people. Like, listen, 4.4 million people who voted in 2016. Mm. I mean, who voted in 2012 stayed home in 2016. Okay. A third of them were black. Okay. Trump's strategy is to make them stay home. And that's what I keep telling Biden's team, right? People say, oh, well, you know, if, 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 there's, uh, there's not a lot of undecided voters left, which isn't true. It's 15%. Okay. Right. Which could okay. really change, change an election. election right. Yep. But also, even if there is a, a large group of people that already know I'm voting for Trump, a large group of people that know I'm voting for Biden. What about the people who are going to stay home? Right. You don't want to energize them. That's the thing. You don't want to make them say, you know what? I need to go out there and vote. Trump's goal is to, is to get people to not That's vote. That's it. Yo, he fucked him up on the 94 crime bill. Yeah. You know why he fucked him up on the 94 crime bill? Because all Joe Biden had to do a long time ago was apologize for the 94 crime yeah. bill. Yeah. Really just that simple. Yeah. If you'd have just apologized for it, that would never be a vulnerable spot for you no yeah. more. Yeah. Do you remember when he said that his son was a cokehead? When Trump? Trump said his son Yeah, yeah, was I caught that head. one. That was great. That shit was hysterical. That was great. That was great. <laughs> that that was, was great. I mean, and listen, by the way, no, no matter how you want to spin it, Hunter Biden did get an administrative discharge from the military because mm -hmm. he failed a cocaine test. Mm -hmm. Did he have a substance abuse problem? I'm sure he did, but mm -hmm. you can't spin it any sexy way. Yo, the way There's that, no sexy spin to that. But the way that Biden handled his, uh, I don't know, even not conspiracy, like big criticism about like a Hunter taking money and Hunter taking the position with the Ukraine, I thought was really good. Like Trump is like, what's up with Hunter taking three and a half mil uh, million dollars from the mayor of Russia? What's up with him taking Chinese money? What's up with him taking the Ukraine money? And Biden just goes, none of that is true. That's what Trump kept saying too. But it's brilliant. None of that is true. And now you're debating the veracity of something instead of responding yeah. and arguing about it. Like what a brilliant, Yeah, he, he basically did the shaggy it wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, he said, right? It wasn't me. Like, who it wasn't was it? Me. Um, I, 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 I thought CNN was interesting after the fact. Why? What did CNN say? Because they had a fact checker. And if you watched it last night, literally, if you watched how they fact checked, when Trump said something wrong, the way the guy would respond was, that is a lie. That was a lie. And then he would break down what it was, right? But when Biden got stuff wrong, which a lot of stuff Biden said was wrong, they'd be like, not quite. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm no, saying? No, that bias? Yeah. So this is it. live yeah, or right afterwards? It was right Bye. afterwards. It was right afterwards. Because there was certain things, it was a couple of things Biden said that I knew he was like, like, like when he said, Dr. Fauci said, um, uh, not to wear a mask. And Trump was like, Dr. Fauci said that you didn't have to wear a mask. And Biden was like, that's not true. Dr. Fauci that's absolutely, he absolutely exactly started with that. He, yes. I heard that with my own ears. <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Even the fact that, um, I thought the police shit was 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 weird for 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 Biden. Like he didn't take a stance on it at all. Yeah, he was terrified. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when 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 Trump said to him, uh, uh, "Are you law and order? Are you law and order?" He wouldn't answer. Name one police union that that has endorsed yeah, 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 yeah. you. Biden didn't say nothing, and he already said that you know it's, it was some it's some bad apples in the police force. Whatever, whatever. That was that. I Biden, thought that part he handled well. He did, but it was also an opportunity to draw a line in the sand to say, well. The reason I haven't been endorsed by any police unions is because what some of these police officers are doing is wrong. And we have to correct that. Mm. That right there gets the whole 
people that's on the ground mm -hmm. in support of Black Lives Matter mm -hmm. that want to defund the police, that gets them, the, the ones that are upset that you won't just say, yes, I want to defund the police, yes. that energizes them. Yes. Because it, it, it's a thing like, oh yeah, they haven't endorsed Joe Biden because Joe Biden has spoke out against the systemic racism that exists in the criminal justice system. Yes. Like, stand on that. That's my, that was my biggest issue with Joe Biden last night. What did he stand on? I was surprised he stood for an hour and a half, dog. I'll be honest. Me too. With you, dog. I took two pee breaks. I was like, them two motherfuckers must be wearing diapers. <laughs> I'm serious. I took two and I was trying. I was like, okay, they probably do a break every 30 minutes. So I'm watching, like, yo, this shit still, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> I went to the bathroom twice. Yo. I was like, yo, they two almost 80 year old men stood for old two. an hour and a half. That's impressive, bro. What? That's impressive. That's a movie. <laughs> That's a movie. I'm like, yo, they wore diapers. They had to wear diapers. I know they did. Did you think that Chris Wallace did a good job? He did the best he could. Given the circumstance, yeah. Given the circumstance. I think he did. He did the best he could. I think Trump is being critical of him and, and acting as if he was biased. I didn't think he was biased at all. I'm pretty objective, dude. You know, but I thought that he wasn't... I thought he, like, he defended both people and uh, uh, accused both people and gave both sides equal opportunity to respond. Like, I thought he did a really good job... Despite them acting like children up there. Yeah, I just don't, I don't, I don't expect, I don't know what they expected Chris Wallace to do. Yeah. Like, unless you're going to put a fucking collar on both of them and he can fucking buzz them exactly. and shock them whenever they fucking get to, I, I don't know what you expect Chris Wallace to do mm. in that situation. You know, my only critique of Chris Wallace, uh, and I didn't even think about it. I, I, I was asking, we had um, Congressman Cedric Richmond on the Breakfast Club this morning and, you know, he's Biden's co-chair. So I was just asking him like, um, what does that mean? I don't fucking know. I <laughs> really, I have, I have no idea Yo, what the fuck. That's I mean. the most brilliant idiot no shit idea. right there. Like, I had blah blah blah. You know, he's Biden's co-chair, and I'm like, man, I don't know what the fuck that is. Should I be honest and tell people? All right, what is that? I know I what he know. is. <laughs> I know the people listening know. I just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just I don't know what the fuck that means. What the fuck is co-chair mean? I have no idea. Okay. But um, he said, I asked him. I was like, yo, out of 90 minutes. In 2020, with all the issues that Black people have faced, yeah, like. You know, all the furloughs and the firings, and they've already shown that this is affecting black people more than everybody. The way coronavirus is disproportionately impacting black communities, like all of this stuff, police brutality, all of this stuff going on with black people. Out of 90 minutes, they talked about black issues for 103 seconds. Combined, uh... there was one question about race. Trump spent 50 seconds on it. Biden spent 53. <laughs> like, literally, they didn't even use the whole two minutes. Cedric said, because the question was racist. Because he said, and they, and they saw that from the beginning. He said the question was a, a question about race slash violence. As if the, 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 the people out there in the streets that are protesting that, I guess they're assuming are all black are committing acts of violence, but it was just something he, he said. The way the question was worded was, phrased, was, a, yeah. was a was a racist fucking question, mm -hmm. and I just I, that was my only critique. Because if I was a moderator, you know, but maybe I'm, I'm my perspective is different because I'm a black man. My my perspective, like yeah, we need to have a lot more about race relations in this debate mm. in this year, mm. two thousand fucking twenty. Come on, I personally, mm. especially being that you're the VP of the first black president, like you should have a lot to say. About black issues. Yeah. You know? But it just felt like they were both playing not to lose. Yeah. You know, they were both playing the prevent defense. I don't think Trump was at all. I thought he was. The reason why I think he was is because he didn't even try to, you know, come out to the middle and grab the middle. And I think the middle is up for grabs. And he even tried, All he had to do is literally he go. He did that already. He grabbed man. the pussies in the first election. <laughs> he grabbed the middle. Grabs and he the, won. He got the middle. middle. The middle. <laughs> yeah. He got the middle in his hand right now. I just think like you literally all you got to do is say I condemn all forms of supremacy. You just say it. Why? Because that's the right thing to do. Why do you expect Donald Trump to do the right thing? That is yo, the, yo, that's the wild here's shit the thing. to me. Here's the thing. If you're going up against a Barack Obama, someone that has universal appeal, maybe you just go for your base. But you're going up against someone who is has questionable universal appeal. Like, I don't think a lot of people are high on Biden, so you can scoop them up if you just, if you literally oh. have some balls. 
You know what I mean? You just need some balls. Uh, nobody's okay. inspired by Biden, so you could go get those people potentially who are not inspired. But yeah. nobody's going to vote for you if you can't condemn white supremacy. Because if you're a white dude like myself, you can't support someone that has that ideology. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You just yeah, can't. Yeah. You just, deep down in your yeah. gut, even if you believe in some of his other policies that have nothing to do with race, yeah. just economically speaking or war, you can't support someone who is openly allowing racism. You can. You should. I could. I can't. No, even I, if I agree with everything else over the other guy, that one thing, how am I supposed to look at you every week, bro? And, but guess what? But check it out. I'll say that publicly. You in that goddamn voting booth by yourself. Well, it depends what the tax rate is for Biden, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some more information but, about this but, tax rate, bro. But, but that's the scariest part about people who f- support Trump. Mm-hmm. They'll never say it openly. They yeah, treat yeah. Trump, they, they treat Trump like the fat girl in the hood. But they just smash it out. But nobody like, wants <laughs> to admit. <laughs> nobody wants to admit that they fucking big Keisha. Yeah. And the pussy is good. <laughs> <laughs> nobody, nobody, nobody wants to admit in the suburbs that Big Sally. Boo! Big Sally got some fire. Hair. <laughs> Sally, you, nobody wants to admit it, but they're doing it. They're doing it. I'm telling you, man. Mm-hmm. That's what the scary thing about Trump is. That's why I don't trust no polls. I don't trust none of this shit. Like, what is a what is a if, if you're the uh, the head of a Fortune 500 company and somebody asks you today on the record if you're supporting Donald Trump, even if you did vote for him openly in 2016, what the fuck are you gonna say today? Mm. You really going to say, yeah, I'm voting for him. After what he said last night? Nope. What is, what is Dana White doing right now? Shit, living up to his last name. He probably, <laughs> that motherfucker is happy as shit. <laughs> Maybe Trump said, I thought the question was about the UFC and white supremacy. I thought it was the supremacy within MMA. I just, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. All jokes aside. America, we in trouble. And the reason we're in trouble is for... All the reasons that we're discussing right now, mm. what Joe Biden represents, what Donald Trump represents is not what America should be about in the future. That's old school, man. That's yeah. an old model. I don't want either one of those old models. Now, I'm voting on November 3rd. Let's be clear on that. Mm-hmm. But I'm voting on November 3rd, hoping that it is a pathway to something new, to something fresh. Mm. Because I literally thought that politicians after Barack Obama, after seeing the success Barack Obama had, I definitely thought the Democratic Party was going to get blacker, browner, younger, more diverse in regards to gender. But I thought the Republicans might have followed suit a little bit too. John McCain did put Sarah Palin as VP. I thought they would start... Begrudgingly, though. Begrudgingly, but I thought they would just start elevating a few more people. Like, I think they setting up Daniel Cameron for a run in the future. But I'm just, I just think that that looks more like what America represents mm-hmm. just even if it's just just visually like they don't even talk Yo, like you know america is, you know how we always talk about diversity and we talk about the diversity in institutions right you could talk about it like in entertainment you could talk about it on the corporate level of things mm-hmm. right we always talk about uh, diversity in that way and then you see the lower level positions always have diversity right like the athletes that are spo- that are supporting the brands or mm-hmm. like representing the brands you see the actors that are in the movies there's diversity right there. But the people that are really pulling the strings, yes. what do they look like? Old white. 80-year-old yes, white man. dudes. And, and that's exactly, I think, what the frustration is. And I'm not against, I'm not going to sit here and go like, we need a not white male as a president. I think that's stupid. I think you need the best person for the job. But regardless of what their race is, but the reality is, is that the people that are probably in control of these institutions happen to be the Joe Bidens and the Donald Trumps. And those people, regardless of which side, may be putting these like token diversity figures out to keep the people happy. But if the decision makers are still doing Absolutely. this, you're going to get the same decision. Absolutely. Like it's too old, man. It's too like I don't I just don't think you can teach teach them anything new. I don't think they're willing to learn. What if, anything a, what new. if a Mark Cuban was in somebody like that? I, like wouldn't that bring like as you you're a black dude, right? And obviously you want to see color. You want to see gender in politics. But if you saw Mark Cuban, you're like it. it does that bring about something different? He's an older white Listen, guy. I like, I like Tim. I like, I like Tim Ryan. I like Congressman Tim Ryan. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he's, he's. Con- I think Tim's like late forties. Right, right. You right. know what I mean? I like Tim. I like Mayor Pete. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I like. I don't. It's not, I'm not against white males, but that old white male ideology, especially that existed within politics and wealth, 
That old white male yeah, that yeah, exists yeah. within politics and wealth, I'm tired of that. Yeah, yeah. That's that, that's that elite shit that don't none of us like. And explain why why that is a the different than like this average rich person that you see. What do you mean average rich person? Like there could be a guy who's, you know, some people go, well, Tyler Perry, he's got, you know, a billion dollars. Well, Tyler, got- well, Tyler's circumstances are different. Right. Tyler is a black man who grew up in a, a rural area. He grew up poor. He's also new money. That's new thing. money. He's he not was, generational yeah, wealth. He, yeah. And he was he grew up in an era where all the ideologies of America that we talk about, the liberty and justice for all, freedom, equality. Yeah, yeah. There's only we're the ones trying to really do that. Us, this generation. Right, right. That older generation, they don't give up. That shit ain't that shit was never for fucking meant for everybody. Yeah. That shit was meant for them and theirs. So somebody like Tyler Perry is a is all inclusive. Yes, yes, yes. He go to his studio, he does have a bunch of diverse people working there. Black people, white people, transgenders, LGBT, right. women. Like he is intentional about that. And right. that's what we all have to be, right? I'm not mad at Joe Biden. When I see Joe Biden, he got senator. You know, Kamala Harris is his VP. Got Cedric Richmond as his co-chair, even though we don't know what that is. You know what I'm saying? Like, he says he wants to have the most diverse cabinet ever. He wants to put a black woman on the Supreme Court. That is a man who clearly is willing to listen. Even when his old white male ego gets the best of him, at least he's willing to listen. Trump ain't listening. Yep. Trump is taking that White House shit serious. Yep. Like, I can see him in the room talking about, why do we have all of these black and brown people here? This is the White House. I don't <laughs> see that. <laughs> I, I do, see that. I do not see him doing that. <laughs> I do not. But that is hysterical. Yo, can we please get the behind the scenes of Donald Trump? <laughs> that is the motherfucker that need to be mic Fuck them NBA players. Can we get Donald Trump goddamn just mic'd walking around oh, when God, nobody's looking? love to know what he said the second he got off that debate stage and they took the microphone off. <laughs> You know the girl Stormy Daniels, the porn star that he smashed? Yes. Did once to like do the book or like broke the mm-hmm. whatever. NDA. He hit it raw, allegedly. Are I'm you trying. surprised? Yeah. That's a wild ass boy right there, dude. Why are you surprised? Hitting a porn no, star. Seriously, raw? I'll just Why are y'all surprised about anything Donald Trump does? Exactly. Like, oh, no, 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 no. Nothing- but hitting a porn star raw? Come on, bro. There is nothing what? Donald Trump could... I could hear about Donald Trump right now. You don't play ball in your red bottoms? He lives with Epstein in the mansion and stuff. You don't think he did anything I think he was him? rubbering up. I imagine you'd be rubbering up if you're he smashing you orange really white, so? privileged male. Look he who feels, you're talking to. Feel, no, no, no. I but, wear condoms. No, but he's rich in a different way. He <laughs> feels, oh, yeah, right, he feels right, a level right. of entitlement. Yo, but the more money I've gotten, the more condoms I've worn. Because <laughs> I could lose... Trump don't give a fuck about I that. Know. He really don't. Do you think Trump you know? is scared of STD? I don't. I, I, what about pregnancy? Or do you think he's just pulling out and splashing? <laughs> <laughs> STD? You don't think he's worried about kids? No, no. First of all, yeah. do you know how much money he's probably spent in abortions? Yeah. Oh <laughs> what are we God. talking about here? Okay. This is, this is a, what are you, you wonder why he's $400 million in debt and nobody knows? Check the clinic. Who do you owe all this money to? <laughs> what are you talking about? You got the Trump branding outside the Planned Parenthood. Oh, what? Are you serious? By the way, that's another thing. What? Yo, why Joe Biden didn't ask him, who do you owe the $400 million to? All right, let's do a little bit of church announcements. I just want to tell everybody, man, um, salute for checking out the Black Effect Podcast yeah. Network on iHeartRadio. Um, you can go to the iHeartRadio app, type in Black Effect, and, you know, it'll come up. Um, new episodes of All the Smoke are available right now. Everybody loves the Allen Al- Iverson episode. Man, that was so dope, the Iverson episode. Yeah. I love Allen Iverson. I love him as a human. Yeah. I love him as a person. Like, he is Raw a emotion. cultural icon. Yeah. I literally had all three colorways of his jersey at East Bay. Yep. I had his sneakers. Like, I love Allen Iverson. Here's a good question. Is mm-hmm. there anybody who doesn't? Is he the most unanimously loved figure? He might be, man. You know what's so crazy about Allen Iverson? Because he doesn't, he, he, he doesn't, feel ringless ringless ah yeah 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 he yeah. feels like a champion yeah charles barkley don't feel like that carl malone don't feel like that yeah patrick ewan don't feel like that yeah even though we respect them they're hall of famers they're yeah, all star they're different. legends something about Allen Iverson, he feels like a champion people's i can't champ. i can't describe it but people's champ man yeah new episodes of all the smoke also new episodes of cut to it mm. um with steve my man smith. steve smith senior um they got a new episode out right now with uh mark ingram 
um, from the running back for the Baltimore Ravens. That's up right now. Um, yeah, and we got Tesla Figaro and, and Nina Turner launching next week. So, yeah, thank you to everybody that's been uh, checking out the Black Effect Podcast Network. You are appreciated. That's so dope, man. And um, yet yeah, I'm going to have uh, I've had to cancel all my shows until uh, 2021, man. So we're going to have to knock. Wow. We're going to have to reschedule all the shows until 2021. We're working on something right now. It's taking a lot of our time. And uh, I'll tell you about it uh, in, in the near future. We're very excited. And don't worry. It's going to be worked. It. Like, and again, we're going to reschedule all those places. A lot of those places are already rescheduled. You can contact the clubs for that. And we'll be reposting everything when we start the tour back up in 2021. And hopefully the whole country's cracked open by then. Um, but yeah, that's the church announcement. Yo, why Joe Biden didn't ask him, who do you owe the $400 million to? I think that, uh, the reason why is, is it came out and it was all like, uh, America based banks like Deutsche Bank. They never said who did. Yeah. They have a list of it. They did. Yeah. But who is he in debt to? Just banks? Just banks. Yeah. It's, it's oh. actually pretty. Yeah. It's actually, uh, it's not that crazy. We looked it up the other day. We had a uh, Sager from the rising on flagrant and mm -hmm. like he broke the whole thing down. And he's basically like, that's not the, the issue isn't him being in debt and he has the assets to pay off the debt. The issue is billionaires have these loopholes in the system and they can take advantage and pay almost no tax. And that's honestly, Sager was breaking it down. That's how Amazon makes all its money. It makes all its money in web servicing and then undercharges and losing money, loses money from the retail side of the business and then writes off those losses against the money made from the web, web servicing. So it never has to profit. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I sent, I sent, uh, I sent my accountant, my financial guy, salute to my man, Humble. I sent him that goddamn Donald Trump article, and I said, hey, I demand to, to see you. We need to get here. <laughs> we need to get here. Yeah, we need to get here. Hey, hey. I said, I demand we, this of you. We, we need to get All here. All right? Yeah. Listen, mm -hmm. is it fucked up? Mm-hmm. No. Let's <laughs> speak on it. Speak on it. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Y'all no, no, no. ain't never had to pay. That's the thing. Explain the high difference. High six figures in taxes. Woo. Okay? Woo. I ain't talking about... Charlotte. A hundred. I'm going to be honest with you, Charlotte. Two hundred. You, you probably paid seven in taxes. Oh, yeah, clearly. I'm just yeah, talking yeah. about last year. Yeah, I, I even think last year you probably paid seven. If you're writing stuff off really good... Maybe not, but like shit make my back hurt thinking about it. Yeah, Charlotte. <laughs> I'm dude, think about God it, bro. Damn. Charlotte, yo. think about it. 50% tax rate, right? 40. 40. You're up, you're probably up to 50 if you include state taxes and that kind of stuff. You're and see the half beauty, your money, bro. And that's what's fucked up, right? Like that's you, how they get you. With 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 you know, when you work for corporations, like when you work for like iHeart. You know, Viacom, the money, tax money already comes out. Whatever. Well, you don't have to because you can get paid. You're probably paid as a uh well, no, I let him take it out. Oh, you let him take, let it, him take out. it out. But when it comes more to like, generous than me, bro. When it comes to all my other businesses, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's that shit comes to me directly. I gotta pay that shit myself. Mm -hmm. Bro, when you looking at when you looking at these high and you look man, I'm listen, man. Yeah, yeah. Just all I'm simply on. saying speak is speak on it, feel it, feel it. This is good. If there is a fucking way, mm -hmm. and, and you're a liar if you say otherwise. Mm -hmm. This is how Magneto gets people involved. You know what I mean? Like, this is, <laughs> you know, he just taps into one thing that you agree with. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, come on this side. You all, could be a mutant. You're all like, I'm simply saying yeah. is, where are the goddamn tax loopholes? Yeah, hey, where there. are the tax codes? Give me the they're contra there. shit. Give me the up, down, left, right, select, start, A, B, A, B, <laughs> so I can get goddamn 30% back or something. Like, what the fuck, man? Stop making money, bro. No. Start fronting like you're losing it. That's all it is. But you know why people are upset, though, right? Why, why are they upset? Because he's paying less in taxes than the average person. Right, right. But you, the thing is, you can't blame him for that. You got to blame these laws for that, right? Because he didn't put in those law laws. Real quick. So these laws allow you to do it. Like depreciation is the one that's the mm -hmm. biggest one. You have a building that's worth $100 million, right? Let's say they say that uh, they have somebody come in and assess the building. And then they go, you know what? The building's only worth $90 million. You get to write off that $10 million mm -hmm. in taxes, right? Yeah. But what if you just have your boy come in and assess it for less? Yeah. Right? And if you put it- I mean, I understand, like, who wants to, if there's a loophole, everyone's going to want to take yeah. that. I'm just saying- You should write shit off. You're an independent contractor, I do. right? You, you should be able to. You know, to. you got to take your car to work, right? You got to take, you got to pay gas to go to work. Listen, write you got shit off. You got, <laughs> like, I all jokes aside, you, got, you should read these articles. Donald Trump <laughs> took advantage of Barack Obama era laws to avoid- Paying taxes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he paid no federal income tax for the years 2011, 2014, and $750 in 
in 2016, yeah. the year he was elected president. He paid yeah. no federal income tax. Now, this is what I don't understand. How the fuck did he get out of paying no federal income tax for 10 of the 15 years before he was elected? Who's the accountant, and, and, and it says, like Trump, millionaires and billionaires pay very little or no taxes mm -hmm. and a complex tax system of rules and regulations under laws passed by Democrats and Republicans and enacted during administrations of both parties. Democrats controlled both the Senate and the House of Representatives for the first two years of Obama's presidency, which lasted from 09 to 2017. And it, like it's, this guy says, a tax policy expert said the ultra rich just know how to play the fucking game. So man. Here's the thing, right? Taylor, He's not doing look, anything in return. Taylor, though. look. If you about. get paid through your businesses, mm -hmm. right? Your businesses make money, not you, right? Yeah. If you make no money, you pay zero dollars in income tax because you have no income. Mm -hmm. So as long as you keep that money within the business okay. and you prove that the business is actually not making money because any money that it does make, you just put into another business and mm -hmm. you show losses, right? You show losses from another business, like I was just saying with the Amazon example. You can show that you haven't uh uh, received any income for the entire year and therefore you don't have to pay any taxes on it. That's what they said. Yo, Trump avoided paying taxes. Same with Warren taxes. Buffett. Same with Gates. Same with all these same motherfuckers. Same with Amazon. Hey, same with Amazon. Same with Bezos. It's same with all these motherfuckers. So it's like, if we're going to take down Trump for it, let's take down everybody. Let's take down the Clintons. Yeah. Let's take, you don't think the Obama's the are doing the same thing? Bro, this is the American way. That's the fucked up part Let's about it. Let's change the system. Let's yeah. change the system. After I get some money, don't be changing that shit right now while I'm starting to get well, a little bit of money. Well, I think Let it's me get 10 years on it. I think it's hypocritical to use what your administration implemented against somebody when you're debating them. Oh, yeah. On Biden's side. Yes. 100%. Yes. It, said, it says Trump avoided paying taxes using accounting methods allowed in the tax code, mm -hmm. and that's perfectly legal. But evading taxes, not paying what's owed to the government, is not legal. Trump also took advantage of the tax laws in effect during the presidency of George W. Bush. This is it's it's you 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 should really go read that. And Can you just, send that to me? Yeah, it's a but it's just I don't know, man. It's a fucking America. All I know is <laughs> I wanted I too would like to pay less in taxes because mm -hmm. you know why? I'm a person that does a lot of philanthropy. Yeah, you can so write it off. So let me keep my motherfucking money. I ain't out here buying phantoms and goddamn diamond hats and shit. I'm out here giving back to the community. So let me keep my money. Mm -hmm. So I can give back to the motherfucking community. Well, you could do that. I think you could write off charity. I write off a lot of stuff. Yeah. I write off charity. I write off the philanthropy and stuff like that. But that shit still, man, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm mind boggled that somebody like Donald Trump can finagle his way to only paying $750 in taxes. Mm -hmm. He's the but president. But literally, I look at all the presidential candidates. Remember, they, had, they put up all the lists of the, the money that they spent. Mm -hmm. I spent more money in taxes than all of them except for Joe Biden. And that's a little bit scary. More than Kamala, about Biden. more than Elizabeth Warren. Who, I forgot who else was on that list, but I spent more than all the presidential candidates on the Democratic side except for Joe Biden. Why is Warren not paying uh, taxes? Is it a Native American thing? Or? <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> what? That debate, that debate was great. They don't need no more, though. See, I think the debates only benefit Biden. I'll I don't think they debate you. nobody. They didn't benefit anyone. They don't debate. They don't. They don't benefit nobody. Biden don't look strong, bro. <laughs> yeah. See, this is so interesting. We're coming at, from, at it from two completely different places. And every one of my like strong left liberal friends thinks that Biden underperformed, and every one of my conservative friends thinks that Trump underperformed and that Biden killed it. I think Trump was Trump really? and Biden was Biden. But they, they both showed up as the people that I. Have come to expect. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying the perspective that I've got from my friends, my left friends are like, nah, nah, Biden fucking sucks. When does Biden ever body the debate? Dude, you have to understand as a conservative, like these conservative folks that I speak to, they'll say literally that they don't think that Biden can complete a sentence. So the fact that he was actually up there looking somewhat coherent to them was a shocker. Mm. So to them, they're like, oh, he smokes Trump. Conservatives were saying this. Mm. So I don't, it, I don't think either one of them smoked I, each other. And in fact, the shit was like kind of like the end of Rocky one. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's like they both hit the mat. You know what I mean? Nobody won. They both got wheeled off in wheelchairs. Like yeah. I didn't. I Listen, Trump was so. And I say put terrible in air quotes because that's what everybody thinks, even though he just looked like Trump to me. Yeah. But he looked so terrible that Biden looked decent. But Biden sucked. Yeah, see, I didn't see that. I Biden thought Biden like did all right. he was right. doing a commercial every time. Every time. It was so rehearsed and canned. Yeah. He would, yeah. He'd be talking. Like, Staring at the camera. 
That's why he missed so many good moments. That's why he missed so many good comebacks. Yeah. Because he was so busy trying to get his canned, yeah. rehearsed talking points off and yeah. looking the camera and trying to get these tu- these these touching moments. Like, no. Yeah. But- That's usually how debates are. Trump is the only one who changed it. He yeah. Usually debates really? were, you, it was the script. You talk Walk to the camera, camera. You talk to the people at home. That's how they yeah. used to be. Wow. Trump flipped the whole script. That's well, true. Well, Biden should have verbally body slammed Trump when Trump didn't condemn white supremacy. He, I mean, he should, he, he should have verbally body slammed him about the tax cut shit, but fucking Trump flipped that on him. Um, his his the, the stuff about the police wasn't strong enough. Yeah. And I just thought that Biden could have been a lot more strong on race issues. The same way that Donald Trump doubled down for his base, you, Joe Biden, should double down for yours, especially being what black yeah. people have been going through in 2020. Problem is Biden isn't the person to do that for black people because he's put so many black people in horrible situations. True. Given the crime bill. So he's not the one to go to bat for y'all. And Trump can call him out on it. So he has to avoid it. And if at he, all costs. And, and if Biden would have just apologized months ago. Yeah. And 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 but this does that work? Did. Does my bad work? I mean, listen, Hillary, when Hillary came on the Breakfast Club the second time or the first time, mm-hmm. people forget this. I don't know if it was the first or second time. But she said, like, yo, the crime bill was a mistake. Mm. You know what I mean? It, that wasn't the intention. But a lot mm-hmm. of people did go to jail unnecessarily before because of the 94 crime bill. Mm-hmm. And I want to get a chance to become president to right those wrongs. By the way, she wasn't even in the, in the administration. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's not like she was even a part of that whole 94 Jesus. crime bill shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's just like, but she knew that it had fucked up. It, 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 went, off, it went off the rails. So she acknowledged she it. She acknowledged it. All Joe Biden had to do was acknowledge it and apologize for it. Yeah. That's it. The fact you can't even do that, my God. Yeah. And that's why they'll keep hammering you on that shit over and over. Yeah. So, and, and by the way, we don't know what's going to happen on November 3rd. Yeah. I have a question. You what's Did up, y'all T? see when... Um... You high as shit. No, I'm not. I'm chilling. No, nah, she's not high. I know when she's I high. Just, like, he knows when I'm high know. now. She was out But of um, yeah. did y'all see when... I don't know what they were arguing about, but Trump was arguing over him. He's like... And Biden was like, number one, saying something. And then he's like, number two. And then he skipped you're to number, number three. And then um, Trump was like, uh, actually, you're number two. You didn't see that part? <laughs> no. He did. Super petty. <laughs> Super petty, bro. The, like, the most childish disses. I mean, it was crazy. The guy is, he's something else, man. Nah, he needs to come in more. I was unimpressed. You was unimpressed? I was unimpressed, bro. You wanted more slappers. I wanted slap. As a comedian, <laughs> I just wanted roast. I want yeah, the yeah. second, I wanted the second Biden started like mumbling about something, I wanted him to go, I'll oh, spit it out, you old fuck. <laughs> I wanted him to say that. I wanted him to say that, and I wanted them to bleep it out. I wanted By Chris the- Wallace to be like, oh, order, By order. Way, that's what I wanted Biden to do, and I thought he was getting there. If Biden literally, he said, "Shut up." He said, "Clown." He called him a clown. He called he him a clown. Yeah, yeah. And that was good. That trended. Yeah. Imagine if during the tax shit, all Biden had to say was, "Mr. President, you're full of shit." That's it. <laughs> Malarkey. You won. Yeah. Debate over. Yeah. I'm serious. Like yeah. he looks strong. Yeah. Like, the headline today would have been Joe Biden is strong. Yeah. Joe Biden has said what America and the world is thinking. Yeah, but Joe would probably fuck it up. He's like, "Mr. President, I'd like to eat shit." What? <laughs> <laughs> What? Huh? Huh? Mr. What's President, going on? I'm yeah. full of shit. Yeah. 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 Mr. President, I got a shit. We've been up here hour and 15 minutes. Can we get the fuck out of here? I don't think we need more. No, no, we don't need no more debates. I'm being honest, though. It's yeah, give us one more. Nah, man. man. It's just because we're only doing it for entertainment purposes. Yes, we need entertainment, dog. Either open up the country or give us more debates. That's the rule. <laughs> That's the rule. If you want to keep us locked, then you better entertain us. Is the country Dance, not motherfuckers? Open? By, by the way, is the country not the I fuck open? I don't know, bro. bro. I don't know. Florida, I, Florida, Florida's uh, been open, bro. They just said they reopened fully last this week. I'm like, yo, y'all been on phase four. It was like, now nah, we actually was on phase two. I yeah. can't fucking tell. Yeah. And that I think Florida's fine. Sense. I think Atlanta never shut down, right? Atlanta's just on phase two. How? What's phase What's- two? I don't fucking know. Yeah. What's the co chair? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Do y'all what understand? Say, we learn these bro, things. Is he black? That guy, on? Cedric. Huh? Is that is he black? The guy? Yeah, yeah, co chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, what if he didn't say co chair? What, what if he's like I'm the co chair? <laughs> yo, yo, I'm the co chair for Biden, bro. What if that was it? You missed it, dude. Oh, I gotta look it up now. <laughs> you might. <have. laughs> I think he was like, I'm the culture for Brian. Are you trying to give him some political ass position? Co chair? Like in America, we got to share a chair? What kind of government position is that? Yo, 
yo. All right. What else, Taylor? Anything else positively brilliant? What a fucking idiot. I, um, I really can't remember nothing else this week, yo. What else happened? Well, what's your thing? You said Big Sean you- was brilliant um, this morning. Yo, Big Sean is brilliant. But why? I'm going to tell you why Big Sean is brilliant. Big Sean is brilliant because the level of... um. The level of 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 not blacking out on Kanye West, the level of restraint that Big Sean shows in regards to his situation with Kanye West should be applauded. Why? What? Can you break it all down for me? Yes. Um, I only have enough room in my brain for one short rapper. And I, and, I <laughs> and, 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 you know, what? S- what? S- You're not going to talk about my boo. <laughs> Sal- like. salute Your to- boo, Tory Lanez? No, Big Sean. Oh, I thought. Sal- salute to Kanye. <laughs> um, you know, I don't want nobody to think that I'm hating on Kanye because I'm not. I just really do have a problem with people who act like they're fighting for the greater good of everybody. But in reality. In reality, it's all self-serving, right? Mm-hmm. And so I was happy when I saw Kanye finally last week say, I'm going to give my good music artists 50% of their masters back, which, as I said last week on the podcast, I hope those artists hold him to that. Mm -hmm. But the deal Kanye has Big Sean in right now is a fucked up deal. Kanye West owes Big Sean $3 million. Why? I I don't fucking know. He owes him $3 million, right? Mm -hmm. Like owes him three. million. Million dollars. I don't know the exact details of why, but it's something to do with the contract and all of that type of shit right there. If you're a billionaire, pay the man his money, right? Kanye West gets uh, 50% of Big Sean's album profits and 50% of his royalties, right? And Big Sean had an opportunity to get his masters back uh, from, from, from Def Jam Universal. And only one person had to sign off on it. And it was good music. And uh, Kanye West. And Kanye said no. Uh, so, uh, once again, as oops. I said last week, if you're going to have these conversations, you need to really put the whole truth out there. The good, the so-called good, the so-called bad, and the ugly. The reason why is because eventually all of that will come out. Because imagine if you're an artist on good music and you're just sitting back and you're like, that guy right there is full of shit. You know what I've noticed? If you're an executive yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that, that, that is being chastised or whatever... You like that guy is full of shit. Yep. And you, you, the, the the only thing those dudes like Kanye bank on mm-hmm. is that those people don't talk. Yeah, that a big Sean don't say nothing. Yep. That a whoever at whatever company you're calling out doesn't say anything. Yep. I don't like that shit. If we really gonna be out here trying to help people and empower people and assist people, be about that shit you talking about in real life. Do you think it's do you think it's possible that people are not very principled? They're more in love. You know how when you're in love with somebody, you forgive all this fuck shit that they're doing because you're blinded by that love? Mm-hmm. And I think that happens a lot of times with celebrities, right? Or entertainers, right? Is they say one thing and because you're in love with that person, you believe it. You see it with Trump. He says one thing and because you're enamored by that person, you believe all the good and you just push aside all the bad. Don't get comfortable with somebody cutting you just because you love who's holding the knife. Ooh. Just saying that, bro. You got to sit that one. That was Listen, like, yeah, that was, that, I mean, that <laughs> was clean, bro. Listen to the AC. <laughs> Woof. Man, that was clean right saying, there. It's the truth, That was though. clean right there. And I think that sometimes we do that with people. Like, mm-hmm. you know, you love somebody. You love what they stand for. You love... You, you might have been inspired by them. Yep. Like, imagine imagine being somebody like Big Sean. You love what you think they stand for, when in reality, they might not yeah. be standing for that at all. Imagine, be, imagine being Big Sean. You got signed by your favorite rapper. Oof. And your favorite rapper jerks you. Mm. And then is running around screaming about, you know... Liberation. Liberation. And of black people specifically. Black people specifically. And people should get their masters back. Mm-hmm. And these companies have these exploitive record contracts when you I'm have gonna those... I'm going to free us all. I'm going to free us all. You haven't even freed the people you can actually free. Mm. You have the power yeah. to yep. give Sean his money, his $3 million. He's literally like one of the founding fathers. Yes. Yo, all people are created equal. Wait, all? <laughs> Hold up. Hold up now. <laughs> all except for Sean? Like, all, ex- it's, it's, all except it's, the ones you own? Yeah, I just don't like that. It's fucked up. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And like, you know, I, 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 I'll get a phone call 
you know, one, Yale probably called me and, you know, like, yo, what's up? I'm like, what's up? Take care of your people. Have you, know you spoke saying? to him yet about this? I spoke to, I spoke to him uh, last week. Last week. Yeah, I spoke to him last week. You but have I mean? you spoken to him since? Or you no, I haven't spoken to him since, since this, since the, since this new information. Mm. You know what I mean? But I hope, I really do hope Big Sean talks about it. You know what I mean? I hope somebody asks him about it. You know what yeah, I mean? This is because it's just leverage. a teachable moment. That's yeah. all. And by the way, I want Kanye to do right by people. I love to fight Kanye is attempting to fight, mm. but clean your own house up. Yeah. Before you go fight that fight. And dude, it's okay to change. It's okay to evolve. Absolutely. What do we always say on the podcast? It's like, let people grow. Okay, yes. you learned. You yes. learned maybe the hard way that like owning other artist masters puts them in a position that you actually don't feel comfortable in yourself. All right, you change that. Change it with your people yes. and then go change it everywhere else. Yes. But don't do it after the fact when you're called out. Absolutely. But it's what you always see, man. There's so much. It's, you know what it is? It's con artists. There's a lot of con artists out there, and they're so good at running cons. What makes a con artist so good is how entertaining they are, how charming they are. Mm -hmm. And they run these cons, and they tell you everything that you want to hear. And you start believing these things about that person. Mm -hmm. But if you really look at the record, right? If you really look at who's Kanye has signed under him, and if he's living by the principles that he's spouting on Twitter, absolutely, he ain't. And a lot of other people like that, man. A lot, of, and and eventually it comes to light. That's it all, all I gotta to say. Light. Eventually, it comes and that's to why light. I say, like you know, um, uh, you know, when, whenever you get in a position of power and you're able to do deals with someone, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, or, or, or do partnerships with someone, give that person what you want. Yeah, don't don't become the oppressor. Yeah, you know what I mean, don't take on the same energy that. You know, the, the 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 these old fucking guards we're talking about. Mm -hmm. When we talk about those old guards, we talk about old politicians. Don't be like these old executives. Mm -hmm. Let's do right by people. Mm -hmm. Yo, it's it's so much fucking money out here. Mm -hmm. How can you get a hundred million dollars? Know you owe somebody three and not give them the fucking three. Yeah. You know why? Why? Taxes. If they got <laughs> rid of fucking taxes, I would have no problem paying every fucking body. Okay? If if you, if they take half from me, Bruh, how can so I pay you? How can I pay you, duh? <laughs> how am I supposed to? How am I supposed to fucking pay you? I didn't get 100. I got 50. 50 sounds way less. Has, has anybody in Trump's team ever complained about not getting paid? That's a great point. That's a great point. Chris, you know. You used to be with them. And what happened to Chris? <laughs> Ass got fired. Chris got fired. Chris got fired, bro. Is Chris there? Can Chris hear us? What's up? Chris, did, have you ever heard about anybody in Trump's team complaining about not getting paid? Well, he, his whole strategy is always hiring the people who will do it for the least amount of money, period. So, that's, that's his whole business is based around that. He doesn't go after good people. He goes after the cheapest people. Got and it. the ah. way you really get in with Trump is you offer to work for free. Oh. So, and that's what he does. If you look at his campaign, a lot of the way that these guys got a foothold in the campaign is they said they would just do it and then they work their way up. But he always goes for the, the cheapest option possible. Why would a guy that loves cheap labor want to build a wall? Because <laughs> he knows why. That makes no sense. It. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. So, Chris, what happened? You didn't write the book? Uh, I wrote half of the book and, uh, I guess I can talk about this, you know, like I signed an no, NDA. I don't want to get you in trouble. She called me into her office. Who's she? And, uh, Ivanka. Oh, Ivanka Trump. Okay. Can they hear Chris? Me. Is this coming through? Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, she called me into her office and said, um, you know, it's clear to me that you don't respect my family. And, uh, you know, I just kind of shrugged. And that was the end of that. And, you know, she wrote me a long letter and uh, relieved me of my services. And I was fired. First time I've ever been fired for anything, actually. So Did I can wear that as. No, nah, this is so this this is what they do. Right. I'll, I'll break down the Trump business model for you right now when it comes to hiring people for stuff like this. Let's say hypothetically that book, the call it the ghostwriting rate on that book should have been, let's say, hundred thousand dollars. I'm just throwing out a number. Right. So they come to me initially and they say, hey, we can pay you 50 grand to do this job. And we know it's a little bit under, but you're going to get so much other work just be from being associated with the Trump brand that it's going to be worth way more than 50 to you. Right now, I just had a kid. Um, it was a sellout move. I'll admit that. But I just had a kid and I was looking for money. And, you know, 
they were just the Trumps. I didn't think any of this shit was ever going to happen. So, all right, I'll take the 50. Then what they do is they go halfway through it. And I believe they would have fired me regardless if I had hadn't disrespected the family or not. Because what they then do is you get halfway through. You're not doing a good job. Um, we got to let you go. Then they go to somebody else and they say, listen, we got we need you to clean up this book. Um, you know, it's almost already done. It's an easy job. We can only pay you 15 to finish it, but you're going to get all the credit and you'll get the benefits from being associated with the Trump brand. And then they end up getting a hundred thousand dollar job for, let's say, like 30 grand. And they just do versions of that across the board. That's the whole strategy. I mean, she, she's pretty upfront about it. Wow. That's the art of the deal. That's the art. Now, the problem is, and maybe I'm dissing myself a little bit by saying this, you don't get the best people that way. You get a lot of the bottom feeders who are just like, yeah, give me the money. Yeah. Let me work for free. What have you. They're always interested in the cheapest deal, the cheapest candidate. Not, I mean, if, if you look like how they hired their social media team in, in 16, it was all people who were willing to work for free. You know, it wasn't like established veterans. He didn't, he didn't pick people from outside the system because he was trying to change the system. He didn't want to pay for the system. So how the fuck is he in debt? Hmm? It's all, it's a, it's a shell game. His whole shit, I saw it when I worked in the organization, man. It's all shell games. He's just moving it around. He's betting on, and he, it's been a successful bet so far. No one wants to mess with the lawyers. No one wants to challenge it. It's too complicated. It's too complex, and he just keeps getting away with it and getting away with it and getting away with it. <clears throat> All right, that was former Trump operative Chris Morrow. Right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <All right. laughs> former Trump operative Chris Morrow giving us some inside dirt on the Trump team. All right. What's up, Ivanka? <laughs> Damn, Chris. Ivanka's a piece, bro. What do you mean? A beautiful woman, dude. Really? He's oh, average yeah. at best. Don't do that. He's average? average? Are you kidding? I never noticed. Uh, Yes. Average. She's had how many kids? Ivanka got kids. Yeah. Isn't Ivanka the daughter? Ivanka has kids? She's like three kids. Ivanka? Ivanka has three kids. Chris, Ivanka ain't got no kids, do she? Of course. Yeah, they got they got some kids. I don't three know if it's kids. Three, but her the and Jared blonde Kushner that they say can be president? Yes, with Jared Kushner, that little boy. Oh. I didn't that know. <laughs> I just He's a little boy, that. that little boy, right? <laughs> I didn't know Jared and Ivanka was married. Jared and Ivanka married, three kids. She became Jewish. She converted. Okay. You, could, you, mm, you can convert. Yeah. All right, let's pay some bills. <laughs> <laughs> hey, salute to DoorDash. You know what I mean? I love what DoorDash is doing right now. Um, for everybody out there that is in a town or a city that's on lockdown, please continue supporting restaurants in your community, but safely, because there are thousands of restaurants open for delivery on DoorDash that need your patronage now more than ever. Now, a lot of people are very excited that restaurants that they usually can't get a reservation in are being delivered by DoorDash. So support your favorite restaurants on DoorDash, okay? DoorDash is the app that brings you food you're craving right now, right to your door. Ordering is easy. Open the DoorDash app, choose what you want to eat, and your food will be left safely outside your door with the new contact contactless delivery drop-off setting. With over 300,000 partners in the U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia, you can support your local go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Chipotle, Wendy's, and the Cheesecake Factory. Now, if you're like me, you live in an area where the animals are fast as fuck. I do not know what animal continues to not only pull my trash cans down, but dig through them shit like humans, okay? I don't think it's the deer. I don't know what the fuck it is, but whatever it is only comes out at night. I'm saying all that to say I'm the guy that will sit by the door until DoorDash gets there because if my food is left on that goddamn porch just a second too late, it's going to belong to some critter. Okay, so many of your favorite local restaurants are still open for delivery. Just open the DoorDash app, select your favorite local restaurant, and your food will be left at your door. All right. DoorDash deliveries are now contactless to keep communities we operate in safe. And right now, our listeners can get five dollars off their first order of fifteen dollars or more and zero delivery fees for their first month. When you download the DoorDash app and enter code idiots, that's five dollars off your first order and zero delivery fees for a month. When you download the DoorDash app in the app store and enter code idiots, don't forget that's code idiots for five dollars off your first order with DoorDash. Now, I'm going to tell you something else. 
that has come in very handy during this um, coronavirus pandemic 2020. Better help. OK. I'm going to ask you a stupid question. Is there something interfering with your happiness or is preventing you from achieving your goals? Duh. It's called coronavirus. <laughs> OK. Duh. It's called depression. Duh. It's called unemployment. I know. I know. We all going through a lot right now. Better help will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating in under 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It is professional counseling done securely online. There's a broad range of expertise available, which may not be locally available in many areas. The service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room like traditional therapy. OK, BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. You might have to break up with your counselor. You never know. Just know it's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. You can visit their website and read their testimonials that are posted daily. Go to BetterHelp.com slash reviews. All right. Visit BetterHelp.com slash brilliant. That's better H-E-L-P and join the over one million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they are recruiting additional counselors in all 50, spa 50 states, especially Special offer for our listeners. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash brilliant. That's betterhelp.com slash brilliant. Now let's get back to the show. Taylor, give us some shit we won't give a fuck about next week. Um, what, what's, what is it? Shit you won't care about next week? Yeah. You high as shit. <laughs> no, I'm not. You want me to be high. You high as shit. Do you want to talk about, though, for um, being an idiot, the guy that bred himself on his co-worker's belongings or any of that. What? Oh, yeah, that was disgusting. This dude, um, <laughs> I mean, that could be a shit you don't care about next week. This guy uh, was trying to holler at a girl. The girl rejected him. Okay. So he took, you know, some of that good old goddamn Neosporin out of his dick and spread it all over her desk, no. put it in her honey, put it in her water. And his lawyer said that it wasn't sexual. It was just revenge. It was a prank. I mean, it was clearly sexual revenge. When you put your semen in somebody's honey. It becomes sexual. And in somebody's water, yes. In your mind. Because you got to think, as you're masturbating, you're probably thinking about this person, right? Mm. And, or someone else. No, nah, you're thinking about her. He had to be thinking about her because he was going to do it to her. What would you rather? Urine, shit, or cum in your honey? <laughs> Like if somebody had to prank you. I don't want to play this with you right now. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> urine, shit, honey. Me, it's urine. Can we play all heartbeat. three gotta go? No, you're <laughs> piss, piss. What's, ba what's bad piss? about piss? No. Taylor's. <laughs> Technically, honey is bee piss. Or bee cum, because it's sticky. <laughs> it's a fluid from another person. It's a fluid from another animal. Insect, so, whatever the fuck uh -huh. a bee is. Yep. If it's a male bee, makes you think. It does make you think. Would you drink cum if it tasted like honey? Oh, yes. I'd be, oh, yeah. Are you kidding? You wouldn't. Hold on. Wait, hold, hold on. on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. First of all, what? before we go any further, <laughs> yeah. raise your hand if you don't know how cum tastes. I don't know how it tastes. Lies. First of all, what cum? You're talking about males cum? <laughs> Why the fuck? And you're lying too what because you, you said males go. Women no, don't no, no, come, no, no. Taylor. What are you what talking are you? about? <laughs> what, what are you crazy? <laughs> you said that. Yes. You jacked off in it. And you hit yourself. <gasps> oh, I didn't tell you that. You did. Cute Mariah Carey, honey, right now. Please. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like what? Let's hear it. <laughs> I didn't hit myself in the mouth. I hit myself in the side of the face. And you didn't taste a little bit, like. No, I didn't taste a little bit. <laughs> Hey, why do people talk like that? As if it's gonna make you admit to some Yo, bullshit. Is, so you ain't taste a little yeah. bit of that cum. No, you that ain't is, taste a little bit of that cum. Come yeah, on now. That is true. <laughs> when, when, dude, when a black dude is skeptical of something you just said, that's always how they react. Like, yeah, I was at the party last night. Like, and you ain't get no pussy at that no party pussy. last night. You ain't eat around, yo. You ain't eat that pussy, bro. Yo, come on now. 
<laughs> you gonna say you use a condom every time? <laughs> that's true as fuck. I don't know why we did that. Yo, that's what Biden gotta do, bro. If Biden was a black vote, next time Trump says some shit, I paid seven hundred fifty dollars in taxes. That's all you pay in taxes, bro. You pay millions in taxes. You pay. <laughs> you pay millions in taxes. All right, yo. All right. <laughs> was saying, if he hit him with that, if he hit him with that, yo, yo. he hit him with Black that, he got, he got Black something. Black people be... He got something if he hit him with that. He got something. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what else we got, Taylor? <laughs> no, I don't um, think we answered that. He did. He did. Well. What we would do. If cum tasted good, we would find a way to eat it. When you girls, when you guys, we eat, would. Hold on, when you guys Why eat girls out, like you don't. Anything. Wait a minute. If it little did, pate. <laughs> <laughs> mm, this dip is good. Is it French onion? What is this? <laughs> French cumin. French cumin dip. This. Oh, this is the finest <laughs> dip from a Frenchman. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> French cumin, French cumin dip. Oh, oh, listen, it's true though. Oh. If it tasted good, we find a way. We would find a way. Don't they do they, something with whale sperm now? I'm sure that we do something with every bit of. I mean, we eat bull testicles, the whole testicle. The cum is in there. We leave it in. It's Don't like you a soup guys dumpling. go down on your girl? Say again. And I know it's like mixed with like a little bit of pee probably or whatever, right? But no, but girls don't have the same cum. Like you have like uh, vaginal secretions. And I don't taste the squirt, by the way. Yeah, the squirt doesn't taste like anything. Yeah, because okay. I'm, I'm a clitoris guy, so I'm up here. Oh, right. So the clit comes and usually hits me like right there. No, 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 no. I put my nose in that puss, really? dude. Yeah, penetrate, bro. Um. So also. Nobody, nobody knows how cum tastes in this room. Though. That's I know how it out. smells. First of all. What? If I was a taste cum. What is that? Huh? If I was a taste cum, it doesn't taste like anything either. It doesn't taste like anything. It's like an oyster. Yeah, exactly. There you go. You got to well, put hot sauce of. on it? I mean, <laughs> what are you well, it's not, well, oysters kind of smell though. I'm talking like whatever y'all think like the girls cum tastes like. Yeah. If I was to taste it, yeah, it'll be the same thing. Really? That Does girl cum like... taste like unicorns in the way that like neither exist? <laughs> girls don't come like that. <laughs> yeah, girls don't do that. Girls don't ejaculate. They squirt. Yeah, but even that's not cum. That's yeah. not like them having an orgasm. Like if a girl squirts, that's not an it's orgasm. It's not really. If there's something white and crazy yes, coming out of your woman, that, something not... is wrong. Yeah, yeah. That's like uh, some sort of infection. You but need like... to vote for the person what? with the best health care plan. Facts. She has none. 100%. All right. But no, that's when a girl squirts, that's not their orgasm. If a girl, if you never had a girl cream, nothing? Yeah, that's vaginal, like, what is it called? Yeast. No, no, no it's that's not. not I mean, they're not coming, they're not having an orgasm when that's happening. It's just, yeah. I don't know what it is. But so that's never happened to you. What? Sure, it has. Yeah, come on now. You know me. <laughs> come on now. Of course, I made a girl cream. Come on now. You know me? Never made a girl cream? Come on now. I hate you. Come on yeah. now. How you think I got these white hairs in my beard? <laughs> oh Give me gosh. another one, Taylor. What we got? Shit right. we won't care about next week. Um, I don't know if it's completely... I don't think we should talk about it. No matter what, tell us it. Go. We can no, 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 no. It. I'm, a, we can I'm not going to transition to it. No, no, no. I'm going to do something else. What? That probably means we now. I really want to talk about no. it. No. Go. Is it the Tory thing? Um. Is it? Well, what yeah. With Tory? with Tory Lanez. Yeah, y'all didn't discuss it. What did Tory do? Put out the album seven, on now. Friday. Y'all didn't. Y'all never talked. Oh, about I forgot it. about that shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, he put an album. <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely correct. Um, and then I was gonna say the Breonna Taylor thing. You thought it was brilliant that someone wants to demand like something from the. Oh yeah, that situation that got sticky. Like, What's this, honey? What's this? The Breonna Taylor situation. Like they um they have to release. One of the grand jurors said that um they're demanding the full transcript come out because they're saying that attorney Daniel Cameron never presented it as a. Murder, which we kind of broke down a couple weeks ago, because I, I was I was wondering like the way that the case was, you know, the way that it was presented, don't seem like they even presented it to the grand jury as a murder. She wasn't even mentioned in yeah the transcript. So, and attorney Daniel Cameron has all but admitted to the fact that he didn't present it as a, a murder homicide. Yeah, so I don't 
I don't know what happens from here. I know that there's a federal investigation. So I just, you know, somebody just needs to be held accountable for that situation. Yes. That's all. I don't, I don't know what else to tell y'all. Like, and people are going to be furious until it happens. And it's, you know, like we said, there's no place you can make that kind of mistake and not have some fucking consequences yeah. for it. So somebody needs to be held accountable. Yeah. I don't know who, but I don't know if it's the person that, the lieutenant that uh, signed the bullshit warrant or whatever the fuck was. Mm -hmm. Something, something just needs to happen. I don't know. Somebody needs to be held accountable. What um, else? Naya Rivera, little sister, is now dating. But not, well, she's not dating, but moved in with um, Naya's ex. That was sad. What? I mean, that's just a sad situation. I respect both of them. I respect uh, Naya's ex and the sister for doing what they have to do for the child. You know what I'm saying? But it's sad that they have to do that under, you know, these circumstances. Oh, they're doing it for the child. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're living together for the, for, the, for, the, for the son. They're not doing it because they're in a relationship. They're yeah. saying they're not in a relationship. But even if, yo, even if they do grow to be in a relationship, I don't give a shit. Yeah. Well, if they're in one right now. I, don't, I doubt that. Why, see, why do we have to jump to that? Yeah. You know But what also, what if he has a type? Like, what if, I mean, they're going to be similar. You know, they're sisters. Oh they're raised God. in the same way. Mm -hmm. There's like cultural values Listen, they probably share, body type. They really may yeah. truly grow to love each other. But what I'm simply saying <laughs> <What>? is <laughs> Americans <laughs> are crazy because we hear such a pure story. <laughs> yeah. This is a pure story. I don't know how pure it is. Pearl Harbor, remember when that dude was smashing out Ben Affleck's shorty because they thought he was dead? I get it. They made a movie about this too, actually. How? It just happened. No, no, no. Not about Night Rivera, like something similar oh, to that. <laughs> that's the Pearl Harbor, the movie. No, Remember, he was no, flying the planes. They thought that he was dead, and his best friend started dicking down his girl. You don't remember that? It's like an integral part of the plot outside of, of the Japanese just flying the planes into the. I the never boats. watched all of it. You didn't see Pearl. Are you familiar with Pearl, Pearl yeah, Harbor? Yeah, I, right? like, I just never seen all of it. Yeah. So. You remember Pearl Harbor for real? I Where remember they all the pearls. On that's that not boat what happened. at the harbor. Yeah, uh, you're not gonna you know try to trick. That's not what happened. Oh, but no, I just don't know why people jump to the worst possible <laughs> scenario. Like, they what was it? Was it her ex boyfriend yeah. or is it the father? What is it? It's her ex. It's Naya's ex boyfriend, Naya Rivera. Is he the father of the child? Yeah. Nah, what? No, no, no. I thought he was. Yeah, he is. He's the father of the child. Oh, and he's moving in with the sister. Yes. I don't see the problem. I mean, this is a beautiful thing. I think it's incredible. Yeah. I think it's weird of us to think that they're just automatically in a relationship. But if they do yeah. grow to like each other and want to be with each other, I don't, who cares? Yeah, I'm not judging, man. Really. Oh, for what, man? Yeah, oh, just let what? it be, man. Let it be. What else we got? Um, what else, Taylor? <laughs> What's something that we really won't care about next week? Um, Fresh Prince Mansion for Airbnb. I saw that. I don't care about that this week, too. Don't care. Um, it's a prop they set. said that, it's a, according to Kylie Jenner's um, thirst picture, that the registration for voting is has soared now. Oh, yeah, because she put a picture up and she said, go vote. Yeah. But that's good. Like, thoughts using the thought technique to get people to potentially vote. I'm tired of Democrats being star fuckers, bro. Democrats are star fuckers. <laughs> like, they don't hit the ground enough. Like, they got to be on the ground shaking mm. hands with, you know, actual grassroots activists that are actually out there on the front lines. Mm. Like, literally everything Democrats do is centered around some type of celebrity. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, you know what will really make people vote? What's that? Is if you talk about the issues that you, the people that you want to vote for, vote for you are going through. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Actually present these people with, you know, plans and, you know, uh, proposed legislation based off what you see they need. The problem, That's what will make people vote for you, not Kylie Jenner. The problem with that is that uh, you alienate them, potentially, right? Because if you say one thing about one group and it is exclusive of another one, the other group is like, well, fuck it, then I'm not going to vote for you. So if you just get The Rock to go out there and like that super tight shirt, he's got a body, dude. Promise everybody yeah. the world. <laughs> it's a you, you, yeah. What happened to... I, yo, I can't even believe politicians don't even want to lie to us no more. <laughs> Democrats are still doing that? No, they not. They're not, yo, they, they're they're not, not even willing to lie. They're not lying enough. They're lying about basic shit. Basic shit. Yeah, Give like, me some. Where, where's the lie lie? Give yeah. me some shit. Make me believe yeah. in some bullshit. This is dream selling season. Y'all yeah. ain't even giving me good dreams, yeah. bro, to buy into. Yeah. Where are the dreams? Maybe that's why it's so uninspiring. 
Trump gave us a dream this weekend. Trump said, I got a platinum plan. Ooh. $500 billion. For, for black people. And I'm throwing in Juneteenth as a holiday, and I'm making Antifa and the KKK a hate group. You like it? I mean, it's a, it sounds good, but I don't give a fuck about that shit. Yeah. Like, I don't really care. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I'm saying that's what you should do when you're trying to woo somebody. You know what I mean? If you're trying to court me, throw some shit yeah. out there, man. Like, throw it against the wall. Let me see what sticks. If Trump did that, but he was like, but you got to let me be okay with white supremacists supporting me, would you be cool? No. The country can never thrive under the energy of any kind of supremacy, mm. but especially white supremacy, but any yeah. kind of supremacy. Like, that's not how the country, we can't, we can't survive like that, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't want to yeah. live in a country where anybody feels Yo. oppressed, where anybody feels marginalized. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, you 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 have you have businesses. Mm -hmm. Other than Alex, you don't oppress your people. You don't treat them like, <laughs> like you don't like you don't you don't you don't marginalize them. You make I, I watch how you operate. You make everybody feel a part of right. what it is that you're doing. Yes, that's how America should be. America's not like that right Agreed. now. Agreed. Agreed. I think it's you know important. how we talk about if you walk into a restaurant and you can judge a person based off how they treat the waiter. Yeah. Or how they treat the waitress. There's a saying. It's uh, I think the you way you treat it. the CEO. No, no. It's like uh, you can you can, you can. Oh, if you want to see how some no uh, um 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 by how you I treat someone that doesn't need anything from you. Yes. What um, if you want to see the true character of a person, watch how they treat people that can't do shit for them. America has fucked up character. That's just the truth of the matter. America's got fucked up character. Interesting. We treat the people that can't do shit for us terribly. Yeah, hey, pay all your taxes, assholes. Whereas the people that can do stuff for us, like donate to campaigns, oh, we're gonna give you some loopholes. <laughs> exactly. Interesting. I, I, I drove in. I drove. I drove in this, the day in the Brooklyn. I'm looking under the bridge and I'm looking at all these homeless people, and I'm like, America got to stop lying to itself. Mm -hmm. This is not the land of milk and cum. You know what I'm saying? It's just not. Like it's just simply not. Like there should be no homeless people. <laughs> there should be no homeless veterans. Everybody should have access to motherfucking healthcare. Yeah. Everybody should have the opportunity to get a free, free, free good education. You know what I'm saying? In college, like this yeah. shit is fucked up. Yo, what if we made a deal with the people in America? Talk to me. You know how like when you want your kid, when your kid wants something, you probably make a deal with her, right? She's like, I want a new Xbox or something like that. You're like, okay, well, you got to get straight A's and then you get a new Xbox, mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. America wants healthcare. Okay. Get in shape. If we get the mm. average weight down to 200 pounds, mm. or we get the average body fat index down to 20%, right? You guys get free health care. But if y'all fast on that, but if y'all fat ass oh, motherfuckers Lord. are going to go out there, right? Eating all the goddamn time, <laughs> dying of heart failure, we're not going to pay for it. What if we put it on America? I like that. You know why I like that? Because it kind of keeps, it doesn't kind of keep, it keeps everybody having a bar to shoot for. So, all right, you got a little out of shape. Cool. We'll give you free health care if you go lose this weight. So go to a gym, you, you know, free gym membership, whatever it is. If you dedicate your time and mm -hmm. effort to losing this weight, then you get free health care. Simple as that. That right there. And, yo, by the way, if you get it for the rest of your life, if you just stay in shape, man. Unless, of course, you're suffering from some type of sickness or something like that that's causing you to have that or and some type of outside. disease. Absolutely. That's different. But for those of us who aren't suffering from those type of things, yes, that's a great incentive. And in high school, imagine in high school, if you're like, yo, if you have a certain GPA, you can go to the college of your choice for free. You know what they got? This is not for free, but uh, I think in, it's- They San might already have that. Though. They have something where Santa Monica Community College, it's mm -hmm. a community college, right? If you have a certain GPA, you get automatic access to UCLA. It's one of the best schools in the world, yeah, UCLA. Yeah, 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 yeah. All you got to do is get this GPA. Yeah. So it incentivizes you. Yo, go to this community college, pay Yo, way less imagine money. Imagine that. Imagine from eighth grade, right? So once mm -hmm. you get into ninth grade, if you keep a certain GPA throughout your whole high school Get a certain career, SAT score, you get guaranteed entry. Woo. <clears throat> yeah, that gives you incentive. Yeah, so we're not going to... Oh, that's a great thing. Yo, we're not going to pay for you. Our taxpayers aren't going to pay for you to go to college after you bummed it up in high school. Your parents ain't going to pay for you your to go to college. Why you should anybody? Why should, why should we all invest in you? Real I'm talk. I'm going to do more for you than your fucking parents do. Done. But if you got straight A's in fucking high school and you killed your SATs, 
as a taxpayer, I'm 100% down to put you in the best school in the world because you might start some business that could benefit me and yeah. the rest of these Americans. Let's go. Now, if you're out there listening to this and you're saying to yourself, you fucking idiots, mm -hmm. that's called a scholarship. You would get an academic scholarship. Yo, yo, yo. yo. Don't ruin it. Word up. <laughs> Bunch of nerds mind, out there. I didn't go to college. You know what I mean? Say what? Did you go to college? I did. My parents paid for that shit. All right. I'm just saying. I'm not worried about these problems. The moral of the brilliant story <laughs> is... You know what I'm saying? I'm it in in incentivize people. That's it. That's it. Incentivize people to, to do well. America ain't getting no bonuses. That's because America don't have no fucking character. You know what I'm saying? America is not giving the people of this country any bonuses. Like it's literally like it's literally like being in America is supposed to be the prize. That's literally how they treat it. You're born American. You have the uh, freedom to be whatever the fuck you want to be. Go. And don't get us wrong. It is a prize. We are the luckiest people on the planet to be born in America now in history. Yeah. Like very lucky. We yeah, could be yeah, born yeah. a lot of different other places where it'd be incredibly difficult way to live. Now y'all motherfuckers born, born, born five years from now. I don't know. It might be rough for y'all. It might be rough for y'all. It really might. I don't know. Remember this podcast. The we glorious. was here. We was here before Rome. We were living it, bro. We were living it. Yo, Rome was lit. Y'all forget. Y'all really forget how fire America was, man. Be like, what? For real? You could, be, you could pull up to a drive-thru and get food whenever you wanted? You're saying for a living, they just talked into microphones? In the microphone. <laughs> Now their freedoms are restricted. Now you can't wait a minute. So y'all used to could talk about this Trump guy? <laughs> Bro, imagine those old tweets. Yeah. If Trump wins in November and really becomes a dictator mm. and makes it to where you can't ever say anything bad about him ever again. Oh, it's gonna be wild. Ooh, them old tweets. You think you motherfucker gonna be in jail for 50 years? Yo, for real, old tweets. Yo, real talk though. <laughs> the year before he locks us all up. We're going to have a field day. No, I'm moving. Say what? I'm moving. Where are you moving, Anguilla? Yeah. <laughs> He'll buy it. <laughs> he almost bought Greenland. You don't think he's going to buy Anguilla? If you're roasting no, his ass every single week? he was trading Greenland. Say what? He was trading Greenland. For what? Puerto Rico? <laughs> Puerto Rico. I'm, I'm, I'll hear it out. <laughs> All right. Listen, <laughs> I'll hear it out. Hey, yeah. Alex Media, I'm sorry, dog. No. Alex Media, I'm sorry, dog. You already here. Alex Puerto yeah. Rican, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> I love, uh, by the way, I love all the Puerto Ricans out there. Puerto Rico. Yeah. Yeah, Bodiqua, Bodela, Bodapique and Rico. Bodega. That's not it? Second one. Oh, oh my God. It's not Bodiqua, Bodega? No. <laughs> what no. the fuck, Bodega Meryl is the no, corner it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> Okay, that you being sure it's said, not Boricua Borega? It's oh. Boricua Morena. Morena. Oh. <laughs> Black Puerto were... Rican, that's what he's saying. I thought they were saying Boricua Morena. Black Puerto Rican chick. <laughs> Boricua <laughs> Borega. No. Give me Snapple. Give me beef patty. <laughs> Yo, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> right. Empanada. It'd probably be empanada, not be fatty. Definitely empanada. <laughs> anyway, Greenland, we got to hear it out. That's all I'm saying. It might be better for Puerto Rico as well. You don't want to hear out Greenland, no. the opportunity? No. What if we just rented y'all? <laughs> <laughs> what if we just leased Puerto Rico? We just leased it. That'd be a dope name for a company, though. Yeah. Puerto Rican? Puerto Rican. You don't think so? Nah. Come on, Al. Nah. What? Nah. I want to be American. I know you want to be American. Yeah. JetBlue wants you to be American too, but sometimes we got to send your ass to another country to get this <laughs> Greenland, all right? Ain't no oil oh underneath Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Give us one more, Taylor. Oh, that's it? <laughs> What's the shit? <laughs> what? I just don't want to piss off the Puerto Ricans. So, I mean, we're Yo, Puerto to... Ricans, let me tell you something. <laughs> I don't like pissing off no race I run into on a daily basis. But here's the thing about Puerto Ricans. Got Puerto Ricans, I swear to this is this is the thing that's so, so amazing. Puerto Ricans, it might be Dominican. <laughs> no, Andrew. Right? No, no. Andrew Stop. has not Andrew. given us a breakdown of another a culture or race oh in a long time. Let's go, expert. So let me, let me say, this is something that's so amazing. And it might be Dominicans as well. It might be both. I'm not exactly sure which one it is. But the first group of people to find a way to thrive. In Corona, was Puerto Ricans, Dominicans. Really? Oh, my God, bro. Al, t tell me if I'm wrong. Every single day, I don't know how you drive here. Every single day, I'm on a bike, right? Everything was locked down. There was one Spanish restaurant. I think it was called Macondo's or some shit like that, right? It was complete lockdown. Everybody was down. Everything had to be closed, right? And they found a way to set the hookahs up so you could do, like, drive-through hookah. 
like literally you pull your car right in front of the restaurant and they had the hookah like outside of your car and you're like pulling the tubes into your car so they're listening to the music they're partying they're still doing the whole thing lock them up I'm sorry <laughs> Wait, what? Now you want Greenland? Now I'm going to tell you why you got to lock the fuck up. You mean to tell me in the middle of a pandemic? They were having an outbreak. Is that wrong, though? That's true. Nah, you got to love like So Latinos will find a way to fucking celebrate, Not even changing the goddamn filter. Not even changing the filter, pulling up everybody, putting their lips on hookah in the middle of a goddamn pandemic. You got to love it, dude. supposed to be social distancing. Wait, so they will find a way to thrive. They'll find a way to have fun. They'll find a way to party. You're saying they're pulling up and there's only one hookah? They did drive through hookah. Hookah, yo. But it's only one hookah? No, no, no they, they brought a hookah one. up to every car. Oh. It's drive through hookah. They found there's a way. You gotta no love way them. That's clean we need Corona. Latinos. <laughs> they made partying okay for everybody. We saw them party. They're like, is your accent changing? Say right again? Now? You feel like you were trying to sound more Spanish. <laughs> yeah. I have to bring them in, bro. I gotta bring them in. I have to bring them. I have to make it so they understand me. <laughs> Why? Oh my god! Okay, come on. We're doing ask idiot. Let's all right, do let's ask, ask idiot. idiot. Let's Go all the idiot. way down, Alex. Um, I got mentioned on Tory Lanez. Um, you mentioned on Tory Lanez. Um, yes, you did. I did. What do you say? You, he mentioned your donkey of the day stuff, and I think he said something about you or just people in general, like putting him. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear the album, so I, I heard the donkey of the yo, day intro. But yo, I yo, yo, can we talk about Tory for one sec? Just Go one ahead. second. Shoot. Just one second. Shoot okay? a shoot. I'm tired of these <laughs> motherfuckers that think that like the world is out to get them. There's a like a smear campaign going on. Y'all are throwing the word smear campaign around a little too much. And by the way. To what academic posted, you know, I think it was like um, I can't remember the website, but it was a different website saying they'll never cover Tory again. Mm -hmm. Tory bought that on himself because Tory put out an album talking about the situation. These mm. people didn't take this stand before that. Yeah, they took the stand after Tory put out an album. Yeah, so, they, so that's they're not like, a smear game. Yeah. <laughs> like they're, they're upset with you because they feel like you're capitalizing off a situation yeah. that. That that you're profiting off violence towards women. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nobody, once again, Tori, nobody cares about the truth and the lie is more entertaining. So, you know, yes, uh -huh. I think people should be using terms like allegedly. Yes. I think Tori should have his day in court. But, allegedly, fine. There yeah, it is. But yeah. people need to keep in mind that Megan the Stallion said Tori did this to her. Right. So that's what everybody's going off. Right. So when people have these opinions, about Tory, it's yeah. not a smear campaign, right? They're going off what Megan said. Tory Happened. did, yeah. And I think there's a bunch of these connective, a uh, bunch of connective tissue, right? Like the ballistics of the bullet matches the gun that he had. I like, don't know nothing about none of that. Uh, isn't that? True? I, know, yes. I, mean, I don't. I don't know anything about that. Who I don't knows? know it why. Matter. I just don't know why people are confused now. Also, and if he says something like, something. I didn't shoot her, I shot around her, or hey, something like you that. You still shot the Don't guy. shoot around he anybody. That? Yeah? He's, no, he's not, he didn't say that, he's but a, he said it didn't go down like that. Who said, but that's not, no, the keyword's like that. So who said that he still didn't shoot her? He still didn't say that he did not shoot her. I just know that <laughs> this clearly. And he said that Kelsey didn't do it either. That was the best friend. Who is Kelsey? That's the best friend that was in the car too. Oh, it's clearly more to this situation than we know. Yeah. That's all I know. And You've been I, watching Girlfriends all weekend when the real drama is right in front of your I face. I love Girlfriends. <laughs> I don't, you know why? You know why? Because I really, man, you know, I just be like, I, I be sitting back listening and watching shit. Like, yeah. I don't, you know, I gave Tori Donkey today, but maybe I shouldn't have done that. Because you don't know the whole I don't know the Truth. whole story. Yo, but here's the thing, like... I'm going off what Megan said, though. Like, everybody else, like, man, I don't see why Megan would have... The most disrespected let me ask person in the world is I have no woman. reason not to believe Megan. Let me ask you a question. Not only do you have no reason not to believe Megan, if you get accused of some crazy shit, please believe, if Andrew Schultz ever gets accused of shooting at a woman, the second after that accusation is made, I am telling y'all what the fuck really happened if I did not shoot at yeah, a woman. Yeah, yeah, Immediately, yeah. I'm going live. Yeah. I'm going on Instagram. Tori, yeah. the guy who literally went on Instagram live every single day of the quarantine, couldn't find his phone for 10, years, for 10 I, days? I like what he posted yesterday, though, or the day. Which was what? What? How he said that. He tapped into um, God. About, yeah, he's not, worried about, he's not worried about what social media thinks. He's moving when God wants him to move. Charlamagne, when a comic is bombing on stage, what do they do? <laughs> 
It's God's will. Give it up to God. <laughs> Give it up to God. Right? It's like, I, I, I hate when motherfuckers hop on God when it's convenient. You know what I'm saying? Like, right when there's nobody else that got them, they just man. go, no, God got my back. Faith got my back. Fuck out of here. Where was faith? Hey, man. There's certain things that you do, certain situations you put yourself into, and you might turn to God. Yeah. But God is just there to give you strength. Yeah. To get through that situation. Mm-hmm. That don't mean you might not get 10 years the life or 20 to life. You right. know what I'm saying? You did what you did. Yep. And you got to deal with it. And you, yep, yep. You, you but it is a lot, God. it is a lot about this story that is like, eh, okay, like I wonder why Tori hasn't been charged. Yes. Why Tori hasn't been charged. <laughs> also, why her foot doesn't, you know, look like Jesus. Like there's some things that you want to see. If someone there's actually pitch, gets shot in the foot, the you want to see a hole in the foot, right? Well, it's fra- well, you, the, the 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 report the report I read said that what she had what? fragments <laughs> in her in her um. That's the thing about the fragments. It's like the fragments means he didn't somebody shoot. shot. It shot. It was near her, and then it like chipped off, and then those things went in her foot. Yeah, I mean, listen, it's not a good situation. Yeah, I like I said when Megan when I heard what Megan said, this shit sounded like super like believable. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like the way she even the way she even described why she didn't come forward in the beginning. I was like, man, I, I, I have no. Why would a yeah. person lie about something like that? Like this yeah. is Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez. Yeah, this isn't just two Joe Blow motherfuckers. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah, I, I don't know. God bless them all. Um, and you know, I just I, I pray for everybody's healing involved with this situation. I don't even know how the fuck we got on this because I swear I said I he brought we it up. What did about. I bring it up? What did we he- say? You said, wait, I do want to say something about... I didn't know I was mentioned on Tori's album. I want to hear what he said. I like to hear how people rhyme Charlemagne. I really do. It's interesting. <laughs> no, I do. I Charlemagne. All, let me think of what... What are things that rhyme rhyming. with Charlemagne? He didn't rhyme? He didn't sound good on that album to me at all. I heard the album slap it. It was... People that have don't have a good ear. I haven't heard it, but I heard that... I've heard people tell me that album slaps. Really? That's what I heard. I'm with God on this one. <laughs> <laughs> You high as shit. Yeah, you're really I'm high, high, Taylor. I'm you're high. really high. You forgot to comb the back you of your hair. You think we didn't No, hear? I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I can't find the right she one. She can't I even want. read. She's so Shut high. Shut up. Though. I can't. All right. Who has, this is by Dan Malicious, 1991, who has had the most disappointing hip hop career ever? I, I, like, who had the most the talent most. and they fucked it all up? Yeah. That's a good question. I kind of want to say, he's not a hip-hop artist, but I would say Chris Brown a little bit. I don't know. Chris Brown yeah. had an amazing career. Amazing no, career. he does, but I feel like he could be bigger. That's all. Um, yeah. What did Tori say? God willing? What did he say? <laughs> what did he, what did he, it's up to God. Like, I think Chris I think Chris is amazing. Chris going to go down as a legend. Yeah. He's like, what more do you course, want? Of course. No, of course. I'm just saying. Yeah. I think Chris had a great, I think Chris Brown is, you know, Chris Brown is the bar for a lot of people. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm just, not the personal stuff, but just professionally. And he this inspired, generation, he's the bro. bar. Like, Chris Brown got a hit on the radio right now with Young Thug. What's that shit to go crazy? Okay. Okay, this is just for yeah. Tits and Giggles what? now. Queen of No One's asked, if Charlotte was bit by a snake, would Schultz suck out the venom. Where is he bit? I don't know. Uh, Most say- parts of his body, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it'd have to be a part of his body that he couldn't suck out. Like if it's on his hand and he's just like, suck it out. I'd be like, well, bro, you suck it out. You'd Has that fine. ever been done in a movie? That yeah. would be an amazing sketch. <laughs> like, no, that happens in real life. People get bit and then they no, suck it out. But imagine two dudes from the hood who yeah. decide to go camping. Yeah. Rattlesnake bites one on the nuts. On the what? Nuts. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> For real, oh, man. Come on, For dude. real. So then yeah. the guy goes, yeah. sucks the venom out of his balls. Yeah. Another friend takes a picture. He don't know what's going on. Oh my he, God. He wakes, he wakes up. Oh out of his my sleep. God. He takes a picture. He hears the guy moaning because he just got bit by a snake. So he's moaning like a motherfucker. <laughs> while, while, while the other dude is sucking the venom out of his balls. And the dude goes, I'm going back to sleep. Then the next day, he puts the video online. The shit goes super viral. Write that down. <laughs> no, for real, I got a, I got a, 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 a gay comedy I'm writing. That's straight, though. Huh? There's nothing gay about that. What do you mean? 
You can suck your friend's balls if you're trying to save his life from a rattlesnake Ooh. bite. That doesn't make it gay. <laughs> now, if after you get the venom out, you're like, yo, you think there's a little left? <laughs> but once the video goes viral, you're gay. To everyone else. To everybody else. You're gay. That's the way it works. I'm sorry, guys. Once the video goes by, this goes back to what we're saying about like the Megan Thee Stallion Tory Lane situation. Yep. Once the narrative is out there, yep. that's the narrative. Yes. Unless you have some truth that is more entertaining than the lie. That video of you sucking your boy's balls in a tent mm -hmm. with him moaning because he's dying of a rattlesnake bite, mm -hmm. but you're sucking his nut for dear life. Life. Literally venom for out. dear life. Literally for dear life. Yeah. Once that goes viral. You're gay. Nobody wants to hear your hero story. Yeah, you got to show us a by, rattlesnake. And by the way, think about how much of a lie this sounds once this goes viral. Once it yeah. goes viral. Now you come out. Man, nah, that's not what happened. He got bit by a rattlesnake, yo. Come, yo, come on, yo. Me? You think I would just motherfucking be sucking his balls? <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what the fuck you were doing. Yup. Nothing you can do. There's no winning that. Park rangers out here hating on you and shit. Like, nah, there hasn't been rattlesnakes in these parts in 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> rattlesnake. No, the park rangers. Rattlesnake. Rattlesnake. Ain't no fucking Rattles rattlesnakes <laughs> here, yo. Rat ain't no rattlesnakes, yo. Ain't no fucking rattlesnakes around here. Been out here for 20 fucking years and ain't no rattlesnakes. Rattlesnakes. That's that best he come up, come up with. Rattlesnakes. rattlesnakes. Yeah, he was rattling his snake. <laughs> there wasn't no goddamn rattlesnake. <laughs> yo. Poor park range. Yo, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta give a shout out to uh, to Stylebender, man. Israel out of this Shout out to Stylebender. Man. For, a okay, beast. that's a good, first of all, absolute beast. The motherfucking middleweight goat. I think that uh, when it goes down... At the end of the day, he will be the greatest uh, UFC or combat sports fighter of all time. He's a guy I don't ever want to see loose. Ever. Ever. The dude but is But I don't think he incredible. can, though. I don't think there's nobody. I think he's, I don't. I think he's in um, rare air yep. to where he's the he's, he's, he's far and away the best in his business. It's unbelievable. And there's no competition close. Mm -hmm. I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't see it. I mean, I I'm not. I, 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 I'm not a huge UFC guy. Mm -mm. You know. I mean, what I mean? maybe but, if he goes way up and wait. If he goes up and wait, try to fight a John Jones or something like that. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. <sighs> I mean, he's so good. I think that he takes out John Jones. Nah, John, I think it's way more. Him, he's bigger than him. But Izzy, people sleep on Izzy. Izzy's gigantic. Izzy's. They say he's six really? four. He might be six five. They might be the same height. John Jones and Izzy. But Izzy's so strategic. Nah. Man. Is he still got that? You'll get your ass beat in the bar because you don't realize who the fuck he is. Face. Yes, he looks innocent. Yeah, he's man. joking around. He's yeah, into like anime and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John See, looked like. All right, don't run up on that motherfucker. Yeah. Is he still like you could be in a bar having a good time? <clears throat> is he says what's up to your girl? You don't realize it's like yo back the fuck up yo. Yeah. Next thing you know, you got your head up your ass, literally. <laughs> like, literally, you wake up in a hospital with your head and your ass. Like, why is it so dark in here? And what is that smell? <laughs> like, yo, you, like you, I'm serious. He's a beast, though, man. Yo, he's a beast, He's a bro. fucking beast, Did bro. you see what he did to the dude after he knocked him out? He humped him. He humped that motherfucker, dude. <laughs> but that's what happens. all of them do that? Say what? I feel like all of them do I that. all of them do that? No. I feel like I've seen another fighter do that. That's nah. a hell of an ass kicking. Say what? That's a hell of an ass kicking. When somebody beats your ass. And then humps you, And then bro. humps you, that's just a lack of respect. Don't that's shake my hand you. after the fact, bro. Yeah. Don't shake my hand when you see me again ever. No. You hump me. I got kids. You fucking... Humping me. Yeah, well, you shouldn't have got knocked out. And your name is Style Bender. Yeah, I'll give you some of the bet. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you a style that we can work with. Wasn't that dude like the undefeated and yep, shit? Yep, undefeated, just running through motherfuckers. And then Izzy took him out took real him out quick. With ease. And gave him that nah, butt stroke, nah. bro. Style Bender's a beast. I wonder why. Do you think people will be more terrified of losing to him now that he's done the hump? Because they're going to be like, oh shit, if I get knocked out, not only am I knocked out, they're going to fight getting, harder. Say what? They're going to fight harder to try to avoid that hump. You don't think they'll be more careful? Nah. Well, maybe. Or they'll either do one or two things. They'll be more careful to not get touched, but they definitely going to go harder to touch him. Yeah. Because they don't want to get that goddamn hump at the end. That's got to be his finishing move. The hump? <laughs> he got to do that with every single person. Just one thrust, bro. One That's good fire. Thrust yeah. It's disrespectful. It's disrespectful. Nah, sure. he's a beast. I, I, I wonder why he's not bigger, though. I think that you might be outside of like the UFC world a little bit, it's but he's, world. he's the guy that's, he's yeah. the face of the UFC. But that's On what I mean. Like, game, when, when, like, I feel like he should be big period. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, he I, got the look. But you know what it is? Like, I don't think the hip hop world has embraced UFC like it embraced boxing. And I think that he's the first athlete in the UFC that understands hip hop culture, that yeah, understands yeah, yeah. the music, that like is part of the music and part of the culture. He might be from New Zealand via Nigeria, yeah. but the way that like he's a fan of the Breakfast Club, he's a fan of the music, right? Yeah. And I think he's the first person who's crossing over and bringing in hip hop to UFC. And at first, some people are like, well, why the fuck is hip hop community not like more invested in UFC? And my answer immediately is because every two seconds, Dana White is just jerking off Donald Trump. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, of course, there's going to be a little bit of a barrier to entry in that. You think You think because Izzy's not American? Because John Jones had a little buzz for a second. But John Jones, I don't know. Like, I don't know if the hip hop community ever embraced John Jones. Did not they embraced, have? but not nah. embraced, but they, we were aware. Maybe aware. I, mean, I watch his fights. You know what I'm saying? Right. I didn't order, though. I ordered for Izzy. <laughs> I would say that Jorge Masvidal, Game Bread, has more hip hop appeal just because of the Kimbo Slice videos and shit that he was in. Kimbo Slice, remember now, Kimbo, Kimbo Slice? Remember hip-hop. like the backyard God brawl the dead, videos yeah. or whatever? Like he. I don't probably know about the bread you're talking about though. Say what? You said something about some bread? No, backyard brawl. I could have swear you said something about some whores eating bread or some shit. Nah, like that. Uh, Jorge Masvidal, What'd Game you say? Bread. Game Bread is his nickname. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Wild dude. But uh, but yeah, I think Izzy really could be that for the UFC. And I think he could bring like a whole new demographic into the UFC. Especially with Izzy, the way man. he fights. Because nobody wants to see two dudes just humping each other during the fight. Afterwards, it's funny. But <laughs> during the fight, you don't want to watch 25 minutes of that. <clears throat> you want to see elite striking. You want to see a motherfucker get punched in his he face can fight, or kicked man. in his mouth. Yeah. And he got the personality. Like he got the he's the he's the complete package. Yeah. He's a beast. I fuck with Izzy. Yeah. That's it. All right, guys. Well, there it is. Gals, uh, thank you for joining us for another week of the Brilliant Idiots podcast. Um, As always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. If you listen to the podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right, too. It's the Brilliant Idiots podcast. Thank you for listening. Peace.